It's been less than two months since the Los Angeles Chargers hired Jim Harbaugh as their new head coach, and he's already outsmarting the entire NFL. This just in, the Chargers introducing Jim Harbaugh as their next head coach. He's at the podium. Let's take a listen. It would be gratitude uh, for this opportunity, uh, for the guidance that I've received. While ranking the NFL draft quarterback prospects, I ranked J.J. McCarthy ahead of Trey Kmetty. The reason I did so was the incredible praise he received after his pro day from NFL coaches, especially his former head coach, Chargers' new head coach, Jim Harbaugh. Now, J.J. had, I've been to a lot of pro day workouts and watched quarterbacks throw. That was the best I've ever seen a, uh, a quarterback do at a pro day. I mean, not only was he feet great in the individual drills and um, but then he started throwing and it was like every every throw was you know right there I thought our receivers did a great job too but that was the best throwing day I've ever seen I recently noticed that I may have been duped by Harbaugh creating a fake narrative that there's a fourth top tier quarterback is extremely beneficial for Harbaugh and the Chargers and here's why the teams in possession of the top three picks are all in the need of a quarterback. However, the Cardinals at four and the Chargers at five both already have their franchise guys. After losing Marquise Brown and Rondell Moore this offseason, the Cardinals will probably be looking to draft a receiver. However, the Chargers also lost Mike Williams and Keenan Allen this offseason, so they're probably also looking for a receiver. This year's draft class has one receiver out ahead of the pack. Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best receiver in the draft. Hence, Harbaugh and the Chargers want to trade up into the top three to leapfrog the Cardinals and go draft Marvin Harrison Jr. If teams in the top three are under the impression that there are four superstar quarterbacks in this draft class, they'll be more open to trading down to five. They know that the Chargers aren't drafting a quarterback. So if there's four quarterbacks they like, no matter what happens at pick five, one of their guys will still be available. If the Chargers fail trade up, the false narrative will help them even more. Three elite quarterback prospects will be off the board when the fifth pick comes around. Consequently, a team in the need of a quarterback as under the impression that there's one last elite quarterback available will be desperate to move up and snag him. Therefore, they'll give the Chargers anything they ask for. Furthermore, if the Chargers do miss out on Marvin Harrison Jr., they'll have a number of options for their second tier receiver. In addition, Three of the teams in possession of the next five picks have already added two or more position players this offseason and won't be looking to draft a receiver. Therefore, the Chargers can safely move down at least five spots without being concerned about missing out on a second-tier receiver. If Harbaugh can get himself an extra first-round pick and a guy like Romo Dunze, he'll take that any day of the week. In conclusion, creating pre-draft hype and false narratives can be used to a team's advantage. J.J. McCarthy's Draft stock is skyrocketing, but it might just be Jim Harbaugh cooking off of a storm. I can't guarantee anything, but if they do trade their pick, NFL teams, hire me. Jim Harbaugh is their next head coach. He's at the podium. Let's take a listen. It would be gratitude uh, for this opportunity, uh, for the guidance that I've received.